Hills. A man survives after a 30,000 pound tree was on top of him for nearly five hours. He's now in the ICU. This is a story you're going to have to see to believe. His daughter spoke exclusively with Atlanta News First Tori Cooper. She joins us live from outside of their home where this man was trapped. And Tori, you were there when Cruz finally dug him out late last night. I was, Alan, and now I'm standing right where it all happened, and we're getting our closest look yet. This is where Cruz had to dig him out from underneath the foundation of the home. This is the roof of the house that's only inches away from us. You can see the massive tree right here, and it really shows the direction in which this happened because here is the stove right here, or this is actually the sink, I should say, and I'm standing on top of the windowsill. Here is the cabinet, and here is the stove, but his family says they kept hope the entire time. That, that's a blessing. Those are just a few of the words to describe how Elijah Roberts was feeling after watching this moment. Overcome with gratitude as she watched her father, Jonas Bush, make it onto the stretcher after Griffin fire crews spent three hours working to excavate him from underneath the foundation of their home and this 30,000 pound tree. Malaysia, let us go back into her house, or at least what's left of it, so that we could show you this video of what used to be her kitchen, now the memory of where her father was trapped. They wouldn't let us see him when they got him um, off from up every, under everything. But once the two were reunited. Oh, y'all, it was so, y'all, it was so, it was so bad. I mean, it was good because I was happy. Um, but I was like really sad at the moment because like we, we always play fight and we always talk junk to each other. If anything had happened to him, it really would have brought my heart. The hospital revealed it wouldn't be a quick recovery. Due to the refrigerator and the tree and all the heavy um, items that was on him, you know, like kind of par partial paralyzed it from the pelvic down. Her dad will have to learn how to walk again with physical therapy. He will remain in the ICU until he's cleared to go home. But she says her dad has already beat the odds once. He's going to get back right. We're going to say that. And he'll do it again. We can play fight again. <laughs> right. Now, again, he is in the ICU tonight. He spent the whole day getting MRIs and just a series of different procedures just to make sure that he is okay. He is able to move his arms and his neck, and he is communicating. Definitely some good news for the family. Reporting live in Spalding County, I'm Tori Cooper, Atlanta News First. Great news.